Performance USA, the greatest entertainers in America, as requested by you, the men and women in the United States Armed Forces throughout the world. Command Performance, presented this week and every week, till it's over, over there. <laughs> Hi there, gang. This is Ken Carpenter swinging open the door on another session of the mostest, the bestest, and the loudest as per your request to command performance, Armed Forces Radio, Los Angeles, USA. Uh, tonight, we thought we were really going to pull something out of the bag for you and present as your mistress of ceremonies the one and only Greta Garbo. So, command performance scouts went out to Greta Garbo's house and when they rang the bell, received no answer. However, they did notice a gentleman standing atop a stepladder peeking into her window. And here he is in person, Frank Morgan. Well, thank you, fellas. And just hold on there, Ken Carpenter. Yeah. I want to settle something right now. All right. Well, the idea of accusing me of peeking into Greta Garbo's window. That's an outrage, a lie, a fabrication of the most vicious kind. Well, Frank, I'm sorry, but I understood I've that... I've never been so humiliated. What a libelous statement. What preposterous prevarication. What big feet she had. Where am I? <laughs> Where are you? Yes. Well, you're still up on that ladder. Well, help me down. I gotta go to a broadcast. Command Performance USA. Frank, you are at the broadcast. You oh. still haven't explained what you were doing up on that ladder. Well, what's wrong with washing the windows in my own house? No, but the ladder was up against Greta Garbo's house. Well, I've seen everything in my house. <laughs> Besides, if my wife caught me looking in the window, she'd probably steal my ladder, and then where would I be? <laughs> Anyhow, Carpenter, I don't see where this is any of your business. Oh? Just because I like to help out my neighbors, trim a hedge for this one, mow a lawn for that one, spray an orange tree here, and pick up a tomato there. Oh, you mean, wait a minute, wait a minute. Pick up a tomato? You mean pick a tomato. Are you going to tell me how to get my tomatoes? <laughs> Anyhow, Ken, I wish you'd stop asking me all these silly questions, and don't be so worried about Greta Garbo. I often drop over to Greta Garbo's house for a cup of coffee and a go at her smorgasbord. Uh. <laughs> but enough of this. Who is that charming young lady standing in the wing? Well, look, that isn't a young lady, Frank. Those are the Andrews sisters. Oh, there's two of them. No, no, there's three of them. Oh, well, I don't see very well without my ladder. I mean, my cat. <laughs> Come on out, girls. The Andrews sisters, gang. Hiya, fellas. This is Patty. And this is Maxine. And this is Laverne. <laughs> Say, Ken, can I ask you a question? Why, sure, Patty. Where's Dick Tracy? Uh, Dick Tracy? I don't know. Why? Well, that fella standing there, isn't he, uh, Vitamin Flintheart? <laughs> No, no, Patty. No, that's not Vitamin Flintheart. That's Bourbon and Bitters Morgan. Sometimes known as Frank Morgan. Oh. Well, you know, I've seen him someplace before. Me too. Oh, now I know. He's the nice man who washed our windows the other day. <laughs> and he brought his own squeegee. Uh, windows, windows. Oh, yes. Hello there, girls. I'm glad to see you again. <laughs> By the way, Mr. Morgan, how yeah. much do we owe you for washing our windows? Oh, nothing. The pleasure was all mine. <laughs> now, children, tell me, what are you going to sing? Well, i tell you what we'd like to do. We'd like to serve you a musical platter of one meatball with a dash of seasoning for Lannan, Beckett, Stein, Mimi G. Ello and First Stone at APO 827, Charlie's Hot Bombers 520, Dave Grenzinger and the gang at 241, Homesick, Dirty Danny, and the Lover at 464. <laughs> the snoot is out of town for a moment right here, but Dan Lundy at 230, PFC Bob Landers and his Marine Medic Associates, Ed Gunny, 520, and the whole gang, and Frog... Manger with the Burma Metropolitan Opera and a flock of CBs at Navy 3250, Chowhound Brown, Bay Window Williams, <laughs> Swamp Water Huggins, Tanker Willis, Wampus Cat Williams, Timber Wolf Weaver, and the Wolf. Wow. <laughs> Thought I'd never get that out. <laughs> 
So come on, Meredith, let's bounce the old meatball, huh? <laughs> Uh, that was swell, girls. Thank you. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. Uh, who are you going to introduce now? Well, now, let me see. Uh, it says here, uh, Frank Sinatra. <coughs> you mean Frankie? Yes. Gee, I'm thrilled. Oh, I'm excited. I'm Laverne. <laughs> Well, girls, if you'll pardon me, we'll go right ahead with the show. Okay. Gentlemen of the AEF, by your request, Frank Sinatra. Well, thank you a lot, Mr. Morgan. Well, Frankie, my boy, I'm sure glad you dropped in. I'd like to get some pointers. <clears throat> <laughs> I mean, I'd like to talk things over with you. I'd like to talk to you, too, Mr. Morgan. You yeah. see, I hear you're quite a ladies' man. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Frankie, uh, to tell the truth, when I was a young man, I was a bear cat. <laughs> I mean, a bear cat with a lady. <laughs> I tell you, I used to go out with the girls and dance all night. Of course, now I'm a little older, and I... Don't dance so much. <laughs> now, Mr. Morgan, I don't think you're very old. Oh, thank you. How, uh, how old would you say I was? Well, let me see. No, but I'll, I'll give you a hint. Uh, don't go over 32. Well, uh, <laughs> can I try for 64? <laughs> None of that, young man. I'll have you know that I have more vim, vigor, and vitality in my little finger than you have in your whole body. <laughs> Well, it figures. Your little finger is bigger than I am. 
Yes, yeah, so it is. <laughs> anyway, Frankie, getting back to Morgan, the ladies' man, I'll let you in on a little secret. I was the Frank Sinatra of my day. That's so. Well, I know just what you went through, Daddy. I... <laughs> What the claim and what tribute they used to pay me. Why, after a performance in the theater, crowds of girls would get me in the corner, tear off bits of my clothing, pluck buttons off my shoes, and hold up their bustles for autographs. <laughs> What's a bustle? What's well, that? That's, uh, that's the calico version of Don't Fence Me In. <laughs> Yes, Frankie, the fast sex really pursued me. After I had done the show, I dashed my hotel, sneak up to my room, lock the door, slide the bolt, and put a chair under the doorknob. Afraid the girls would break in, huh? No, break out. <laughs> <laughs> my goodness, Frankie, follow the story. <laughs> no kidding, Mr. Morgan, were you really a singer like me? Was I a singer? Was I a singer? Was I a singer? <laughs> Certainly I was a singer. Just listen. I'd climb the highest mountain If I knew that when I climbed that mountain I'd find you You know, uh, I think you're having a little... <laughs> Frank, I think you're having a little trouble with that mountain. You better stick to your ladder, kid. Yeah. <laughs> Now, now, hold on. Just treat me with a little respect there, half pint. Well, uh, you don't object to half pints, do you? I should say not. Pints either. Quartz. Bottom <laughs> down. <laughs> what are you singing, Frankie? Well, here's a tune called Saturday Night. Yeah, well, that's a clever title. How do they think up those things? <laughs> Go ahead, Frankie. <laughs> Saturday night is the loneliest night of the week Cause that's the night that my sweetie and I used to dance cheek to cheek I don't mind Sunday night at all Cause that's the night friends come to call And Monday to Friday go fast and another week is fast But Saturday night is the loneliest night of the week I sing a song that I sang For the memories I usually seek Until I hear you at the door Until you're in my arms once more Saturday night is the loneliest night of the week. Yeah. Saturday night is the loneliest night of the week I sing the song that I sang for the memories I usually see Until I hear you at the door Until you're in my arms once more Saturday night is the loneliest night of the week the door until you're in my arms once more Saturday night is the loneliest night of the week and, uh, that was 
just fine, Frankie. Now, gang, Command Performance brings you a real treat as we present two radio stars whom you haven't heard from for some time. Before introducing them, I'll give you a little hint. First of all, they're both females. And inasmuch as they're a little man crazy, I've locked Frank Sinatra in the safe. I've sent Ken Carpenter and the orchestra boys to the hills. And if you'll excuse me, I'll run for cover because here comes... Brenda! What is it, Cobina? <laughs> Thrill broadcasting to the men in the armed forces. I'll say, and you know what? I got a special honor. Yeah? Yeah, a lot of fellas in the South Pacific elected me Miss Fed Sack of 1945. <laughs> Miss Fed Sack? How come? I don't know. It must be that flower bag I wear for bloomers. <laughs> You know, Kavina, I can still remember the first date I had with a man. Your first date? Oh, were you young and shy? No, 42 and eager. <laughs> well, well, I have a boyfriend right now. He works with me out at Lockheed. Oh, he's just crazy about me. Yeah? How can you tell? Well, yesterday when I passed by him, he pinched me. He pinched you? Mm hmm Hard? Sure, he used a pair of pliers. <laughs> and you know something? I put on my new three-piece bathing suit for him, but he didn't like it. Why not? There was still a piece of me showing. <laughs> well, anyway, Kavina, I'm glad we're old-fashioned. Mm -hmm. I read in the papers where girls all over the country are smoking pipes because they can't get cigarettes. Smoking pipes? Oh, how horrible. Yeah. Pass me that plug of tobacco, will you? <laughs> oh, well, don't take it all, Brenda. I want to save a piece for Frank Sinatra. You know, I just saw him for the first time. Me too. Gosh, there's so little meat on him. <laughs> Looks like a couple of other old buzzards beat us to him. <laughs> well, i got to run along now, Brenda. I have an appointment with Admiral Byrd. Yeah? <laughs> yes. He wants me to go to the North Pole with him on his next expedition. Wants you on his next expedition? Yes, I'm so thrilled. What's a lead dog? <laughs> and now Command Performance lets you in on some of his private correspondence. Here's a letter from two guys in Paris. Paris? They could at least have sent a postcard. <laughs> Anyhow, it says, Dear Command Performance, I'm from New York City and my buddy is from San Antonio, Texas. We'd like a song dedicated to us. Signed, 42nd Street Bill and Longhorn Louie. <laughs> Very simple, my lads. Here's a grand Western combination who usually dish out bunkhouse ballads. Cool water. 
Thank you, riders. Now, gentlemen of the AEF, by popular request, is one of the all-time favorites in your baritone ballot box. You fellows who saw him overseas have commanded this appearance of Nelson Eddy. Thanks very much, Nelson Eddy. Gee whiz, what a voice. Yeah. Look at the chest on that guy. Will you look at the chest on that guy? Mm. And he sings without holding on to anything, too. <laughs> He's wonderful, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you, young man. Are, uh, are you interested in singing? <laughs> well, uh, yes, in a way. Oh, think... pardon me, fellas. I forgot to introduce you. Nelson Eddy, shake hands with Frank Sinatra. <laughs> Put her there, Nelson. Watch it, Frank. Gosh, my hand. Oh, I'm sorry, Nelson. Honestly, I am. I guess I was too enthusiastic. Well, uh, that's all right, Frank. And say, as long as we're here, I'd like to ask you a rather personal question. Go right ahead, sir. Well, uh, a lot of comedians and vocalists have ribbed you about the way you sing a number. Does that bother you? Here comes the plot of our play, gang. Why, yes, Nelson, to tell the truth, it does bother Which me. Which all brings us to Hollywood's latest mystery melodrama with music. <laughs> in Sir Sanctum in B-flat. <laughs> or, who dropped the bobby sock in Nelson Eddy's shortening bread? <laughs> Well, 
We take you now to Nelson Eddy's dressing room. The star himself is singing. That's not me, folks. And here I go. <laughs> 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 Who plugged Nelson Eddy? Who shot him between his all and his nothing at all? <laughs> I'll find out. I'm District Attorney Morgan, defender of the truth, guardian of our fundamental rights, also wash windows. <laughs> Now, just a minute. Who are you? I'm Ken Carpenter, radio announcer. I see. And who is this guy? I'm just a dolly with a hole in my head, hole in my head. I'm full of lead. You certainly are, kid. <clears throat> and I'm here to get the lead out. I said head. <laughs> I'll track down some clues. I'll open this closet door. I'm innocent. I'm innocent. I'm Laverne. <laughs> Are you in this closet alone? Oh, no, no. You see that moth flying around? Yes. Well, look who's riding on his back. Aha! Uh -huh, the voice! <laughs> <laughs> Come on down there, from there, Sinatra. <laughs> well, here I am. Okay, uh, okay, Lieutenant, pick me up later. Okay, Frankie. <laughs> Now, listen, Sinatra, do you shoot Nelson Eddy? Don't be silly. Nelson Eddy is my friend. He is, eh? Sure. Mammy's little Frankie loves shortening, shortening. Mammy's little Frankie loves Nelson Eddy. <laughs> well, lay down there with the victim, Sinatra. I don't want you to get away. Say, oh. Mr. D.A., I don't like to be a stool pigeon. Who are you? A stool pigeon. <laughs> Well, what's up, Pigeon? Well, I got a hunch that Foy, Winning, and the Riders of the Purple Sage are in that closet, too. They are, eh? <laughs> Dismount, you bow-legged hombres. What do you know about the shooting? Nothing, and a cowboy never tells a lie. Well, if a cowboy won't tell a lie, neither will I. I did it. But, Frankie, why did you shoot Nelson Eddy? Well, any time I hear anyone sing all or nothing and all the way I do it, it makes my blood boil. <laughs> that I gotta see. <laughs> Anyway, I didn't use a real bullet. My gun is loaded with vitamin pills. Vitamin pills? Vitamin pills? Whew, no wonder I feel so good. Me, 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 me. All or nothing at all. I don't like it that way either. <laughs> man, it looks like that did it. Try and be around same time next week when Command Performance mixes up another concoction of music and laughter, with a dash of bitters, of course, in answer to your letters to Armed Forces Radio, Los Angeles, USA. Where else? Meantime, this is Frank Morgan saying the best of the best to you all. So long. Now, let's see. Where did I leave my ladder? <laughs> Radio service.